Before we read, let us pray. Father, speak to us as you always do. And may we all not live here the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So long before, before we read the text, long before, I want you to listen very carefully. It's going to be quite brief, but you're going to be blessed. Amen. Long before the church was born, there was a chosen nation called Israel. The Lord gave them a leader and they had a congregation. God had, God had his own people uh, and they had a leader. His name was called Moses and Moses was a married man. He had children, he had a family. He was called and he was serving the Lord. Now, before the birth of the church in the book of Acts, God has always had a plan for his family, for his people, and how he wants us to live and how he wants us to be taken care of. So, when you look at how Moses was leading the people of Israel, and some instructions that were given to him, you can understand how and why the church started the way we have been learning the, past, the previous weeks, the way they, the way they met. So this man called Moses had a, uh, a godly father-in-law who was called Jethro. Now Jethro was a priest who served the God that Moses and Abraham served. Now, this man was so full of wisdom. He visited the, the son-in-law one day. A priest has visited Moses. And he noticed that Moses was, was doing something. And he made some comments about it that I want us to look at. Hallelujah. In the verse 17, so Moses' father-in-law said to him, The thing that you do is not good. The thing that you do is not good. Said the thing that you do is not good. We want to learn some lessons from our Bible reading today. So, what did Jethro, the priest, Moses' father-in-law, what did he find his son-in-law doing that he described as not good? Now, Moses, when we read from the verse twelve, we don't have time to read that. It was read unto us. Moses was sitting down and the entire congregation of Israel were standing, a lot of them. And Moses was, was sitting down and he was judging the people. Moses was the only judge of the people. And he was judging the people and, and doing counseling and fixing people and telling them the mind of God and all of that. How and why will a priest say to God's chosen leader who is dispensing his duties that what you are doing is not good. Moses, when you look at the verse 14, so, Mo, so when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did, he said, what the thing that you are doing, what is, what is it that you are doing for yourself and the people? Why do you sit here with all the people standing before you from morning till evening? Moses, look at the verse 15. Moses said to his father-in-law, because the people came to inquire of the Lord. The people are inquiring of the Lord. That is good. And Moses is telling them the mind of God. That is good. Why would he say it is not good? Look at the, the, the next thing that Moses also I said they came to inquire of, 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 of the Lord. They were assisting. When they have a difficulty, they come to me. So he was telling them the mind of God that is teaching them the word of God and telling them what God will have them do. That is spiritual. And then also when they have difficulty, difficulty that when they have quarrels, when they don't understand anything, when a man and a wife has an issue, a mother and a child has an issue, a farmer and another farmer has an issue, Moses, an old man, will sit down from morning to evening doing two things. Telling people about the mind of God, that is preaching the word of God, 
giving them prophetic direction and also fixing difficulty. And when they have difficulty, I judge between the people. He was resolving issues. How and why were resolving issues, helping people fix the difficulty in their lives, not be good? And telling people who inquire of God what God want them to do not be good. It was not good in that Moses was doing it alone. The only thing that was not good about it is Moses was doing it alone. You see, it is not enough knowing the thing that is good and even doing it, but how it is done also matter to God. And Moses was doing this all alone. Telling people the mind of God and fixing quarrels. Hallelujah. This thing compared to what we know in Acts chapter 5 verse 42, you can liken this to the temple meetings. That Moses was one person like one pastor, one bishop, one reverend standing in one place with a lot of people doing the right thing. But if the reverend does it alone all the time, it is wrong. That which is good, like counseling and, and preaching, becomes wrong when it is done at one location by one person all the time. Let me repeat myself. It is wrong. Temple meetings are good. The pastor preaching to the people is good. Big meetings are good. Family meetings are good. Sunday morning meetings are good. But when Sunday morning meetings are the only meetings that have semblance to what Moses was doing in that Moses, one man, sat or stood and everybody gathered and he alone, like me alone, for three years. I'm not Moses, I'm not Moses. My name is Nana Archon Bakodia. I'm a New Testament gospel preacher. Hallelujah. It is no good. Temple meetings alone are good. But when it is the only one, it is not good. That is contextually what is happening over here. Hallelujah. So counseling is good. Preaching is good. Coming to church is good, but if it is coming to church alone, it is not good. Do you understand? If it is alone, it is not good. Hallelujah. Why was it not good? Moses said, in the verse 17, he said, this thing is not good. If it is done by one person forever at one location, verse 18, God is coming to give reasons. It's about you and the people. It's not good for you. This is not good for Moses. And it cannot be good for any pastor. The church started early. They have learned from Moses. It is not good. For the pastor. It's not good for any pastor. It's not good for the congregation. I will say it's not good for you. And it is also no good for the congregation. Why? Because both you and the people will wear themselves out. Can you imagine the picture of them? Olumati, from morning to evening, on the day. And the people are standing. Their health were being affected. Listen, this thing is bad because we are limited by design. The way God designed a human being, we are limited. I can't do so much. By our design, immortality is boxed up immortality. And mortality limits immortality to the extent that we cannot do so much. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus died and came to put his spirit in all of us. God's plan has always been what the prophet Joel said. That in the last days, not one man will do the work. I'll pour out my spirit boom, on all men. Your sons and prophets will do this. 
that in the New Testament, not one person would do it at one place. Many people would do it at many places. Hallelujah. And so, he said that you wear yourself out because you can't do so much. He says you wear yourself out. And many pastors are wearing out. And as the pastor wears out, whether you know it or not, the church is wearing out. He's a leader. And if he wears out, the church is wearing out. If the pastor is burning out, the church is burning out. And so God was concerned. Now listen, many times we think God is only concerned about salvation and we growing spiritually in the Lord. Here, we see that God is also concerned about our health. God is concerned about the pastor's sanity. He's concerned about the pastor's health. The Moses, if you do this alone, you will die early. I want you to do this thing longer. And I want the people also to be equipped to do it. And so, he uses his father-in-law to give him a counsel. And that was the mind of God. Hallelujah. You see, as, as, you know, Moses knew, you see, the limitation of man was exhibited in how Moses did church. That he was wise enough in, in, in counseling and he was blessed and anointed to counsel and to judge people, but he was not wise enough to know that he can't do it alone. He was limited in administration. Moses didn't know that he had to divide the people. It shows how limited he is. Hallelujah. Do you get the thing? Yeah, he could do a lot of things, but there are things he could not do. He didn't know that what he was doing was not good. But that is where God's grace and wisdom comes in. Give him counsel. And Jethro said that. Divide the people. Call some people. Train them the ordinances. Show them how to do it. It's amazing that Moses didn't know this. Oh, Moses. Yes, pastor don't know it all. Wow. That's a pastor. That is why God will not let him do it. Because there are many things that he didn't know. Hallelujah. So we are weak and limited by design. One person can take care of just a few people. But God has many children. And God, is so, God always has a future in mind. So Moses, run and the Israelites are three million. You are taking of three million alone. They will grow, they will multiply. They will become more and you will be doing it alone. No. God lives in the spirit. He's living in the future and the present at the same time. He knows where the church is going. He knows that, listen, we need to expand. We need to get more people that can do this thing. Hallelujah. God cares about our health. We see it here. And he cares about the pastor's health and the, the church member's health. And he does not just only care about our spiritual development. So you look at the work of a pastor or the work of Moses, and then when he was discharging his, his duty as a pastor, we know that when God called us, I saw from one hand, we said, the way that God has called Joshua right now, when God called us, in, in, look at something, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, I'll give you pastors according to my own heart, reverends, bishops, prophets, all of them. It looked like God didn't trick us, but look at what he said. He said we will only feed with knowledge and understanding. That's what God wants pastors to do. Pastors, feed with knowledge and understanding. Ephesians resonates this in the chapter 4, verse 11 to 15. I'll give some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the equipping of the saint. So we are, for the pastor equip the saint for the work of the ministry. Do you see that over there? For the equipment of the saints and for the work for the equipment of the saints for the work of the ministry for edifying the body of Christ. So the church, the pastor feeds with knowledge and understanding, and the pastor edifies the church. But it is the saints. How many saints are here? It is the saints that do the work of ministry. So the pastor's ministry is to equip the saints. Pastor, we are in the Juma, so that the saints will go and do the work of the ministry, including the ministry of reconciliation. The most important one. Now, in Acts, when the church was growing in the book of Acts, 
You know when they started, they started meeting in temples and homes from chapter 1 now to chapter 5. From verse 2, from the chapter 6, from the verse number 2, even from the verse 1, we saw that they were growing and the pastors were not able to stick to feeding the people with knowledge and understanding. They were unable to do that. Why? Moses' problem coming here again. And the people were coming to pastor to complain. Yeah, you are in the main yeah, you say, I have your feet. Pastor, come and look at the washroom. Somebody come, they come, pastor come, the pastor is praying, the pastor come and look at the washroom. They are complaining about many, 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 many things. So the Bible said, God gave them wisdom. Then the twelve, that's a point. They summoned the multitude of the disciples. They were not just Christians. They were disciples and said, it is not desirable for others. We should leave the word of God and serve tables. Seven tables here is everything, every other work anybody can do. Save the pulpit ministry. Save the office of the pastor. Save what Moses was doing. Seven tables here is not just ushering or Emmanuel taking photographs or Job playing keyboard or any other thing. But simply the other work of ministry apart from the office of the pastor. Say it is not desirable. It is not good. And so we all know that they said they should gather people so that they can anoint them. They can train them. Like Moses, listen to Jethro and train people so that they can do many other things. Why? The verse 4. But we, the pastor, the pastors, so that we, PNY, and Reverend Joshua, and every other pastor here, week by week, will continually, we can give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. If the pastor doesn't have time to do this well, who suffers is the people. So that's why Jethro said, it is not good that we sit here the whole day. Moses, tell me about Bible. Moses, tell me about the Bible. Moses, you get worn out. Moses, if you don't tell them, you will not hear the voice. They are coming to inquire of you the will of God. If you don't take time, you'll be so engrossed uh, and you become like a matter kind of Christian. When they come, you'll be telling them the wisdom of this world. You'll be telling them stories. You'll be starting giving wrong acquaintance. You've started giving good acquaintance now. But if you do it alone, you won't get time to spend with me and to pray and to study. When they come, you'll be telling them what I haven't told you. That is why this thing is good, but it is not good. Hallelujah. And so, so that we can give ourselves to... Listen, this is the pastor's work. But today, it is different. Last year, I went, on behalf of this church, I went to the police head office four times. I wrote police statement. Me, pastor, I wrote police statement. I wrote a police statement two times. You see, I wrote a police statement. Me, I wrote a police statement. Hey! Me, write police statement. Last, I deal with Ghana water, electricity people. What? AMA. Now, I'm to say, the work, there's something called pastoral care. Today, it's not just like that. There's something called pastoral care. And every pastor today requires and must get involved in a lot of administrative work. Hospital visitations, I mean home visitations, funerals, weddings, you know it. Funerals, weddings, Obi Apese Pastor Tony Badi, Obi Apese Pastor Jean, baptism, somebody wants to be baptized for the past three months, me not quite uncomfortable on this. Hallelujah. Well now, after doing all this, I have my wife to love. And I have children to I have my family. When I finish, you want me to come and stand here and explain Colossians to you? I am a man who me obi bow, me obi papa who many years me not say who. Hallelujah. So Moses, what you are doing is not good. Thank God for Moses. I can learn from him. Hallelujah. It can be very overwhelming. Organizing ministries, training church workers. So for Jumana Eddie, hallelujah. 
And so God's plan was that his children will not be taken care of by one man. He is, you see, he just needs available people that he can use who have the Holy Ghost and the heart for God to use them to do the work of ministry. And so, this Moses, let me show you something about him before I say a few things in closing. Church work and ministry work is difficult. Just last week, I was telling somebody that God calls all his children sheep. We are all sheep, but some, some people, they are not sheep. They are goat. Some are even elephant. Some are snakes. But I said, feed my sheep. I said, God said, Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Peter. Peter said, God said, Peter should feed his sheep. Uh, so Peter has to do visitation. But Peter has to go and write police statement. I said, Peter, if you love me, you, your work is feed my sheep. But not all God's children are sheep. Are, 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 are we all sheep? We are sheep. Hallelujah. Numbers chapter 11, verse 14 to 17. This, this scripture is scary. If you're a man of God, if you're a needle or day minister like Joshua, don't be afraid. There is grace. But let me show you something. I am not able to bear all the people, all these people alone, because the burden is too heavy for me. Moses Neka say. Oh, Moses or no nya mishiayo. No nya mekasa. You see we unu but no tinya mini audible. Moses. Or see the burden is too much for me. And indeed it is too much. The burden of ministry is too much. Hallelujah. One person cannot bear it alone. Moses is limited. One person can bear up to some point. As a ch- the way we are growing. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bear it alone. Hallelujah. Verse 15. <clears throat> if you treat me like this, please kill me here and now if I have found favor in thy sight. Can you make a song with this? For pastors, that when we are going through it, we will sing it to the Lord. When we are ready, we can sing it early. Every pastor has been here before. If you haven't been there, you will come there one day. Where you wish to die. Listen, no accountant or painter or mechanic can come here. No chief director. No president. President, they bath. They say they bath in this thing. A taxi driver or truck driver will come here. Want to die? There's a nyamie juma on lesson. This is nyamie frail, unless you don't love the people, unless it is business. But if you're a man of God like Moses, who can sit morning to evening, listen. There's. Let me, let me make a confession. Before I became a pastor, like some of you, I thought pastors were exaggerating about their work. I thought they were exaggerating. There are a few times I thought that I'm a pastor. Especially when you are growing so much, you start getting one or two revelations and you think you can stand here and do what the pastor is doing. And a pastor for you, and you're preaching. Now, me, 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 me with this speech, speech and price, you know, me with this speech, me, I can't pray. I know, me, 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 I do. I know how to talk. If this is talking, it's, it's not preaching. If it's preaching, Moses will not say that. I was like, please, Moses, boy, dear, kume. Here, not there, as I'm talking. Kill me here now. If I have found favor in your sight, don't let me see my wretchedness. He wanted to die. Do you know anybody doing any work who can come to this place? Eh? A trader, a doctor. Doctor want to die because of this. No. Hallelujah. Because it's a two man a year thing. I can't describe the burden. I can't describe the burden. It's a heavy burden. We can't describe it. Only pastors can describe it. Betrayers, disappointment, everything put together. 
Then they do appreciation for you one day. You think that everything is okay. The people have changed. They love you. Oh, you should look at them. The following man, the following Sunday after appreciation, he said they want the service. Then you are alone. You want the people to come. Then service. You don't know the burden. You don't know what pastors go through when they call for meetings and you don't come. You don't know. You don't know what it means when pastors are preaching. They see empty chairs. You don't know what it means when you don't come to church and a pastor laughs you. You see, you don't know one bad story. Not me who's the one bad story. You don't know the pain you cost me. You don't know. You don't know. He went on and said that, but God has a solution. Guess what? Guess what? God didn't, God didn't say that Moses, you're exaggerating. Moses has come to the point of death for real. What is killing him? The burden of the people. Look at God's solution. Look at God's solution. God said, God is not saying, God is not saying, Moses, you are, Moses who complained, Dodo. Moses, I know you don't want to die. You are saying you want to die. You are not being real. God admitted it. And so the Lord said to Moses, God says, it is true. I know you want to die. My solution is gather to me 70 men and elders of Israel, whom you know, who are elders and officers, and officers over there. Bring them to me. Put them to the tabernacle of meeting. So they had a tabernacle of meeting. Bring them there. That they may stand with you. It's not CBG. Before CBG said, we stand with you. God's people need people. God's men need people to stand with them. They will stand there with you. They will stand with you. And what would they do? Next verse. Then I will come and talk to you there. I will take the spirit. I'll take the spirit. Capital S. That is on you. The spirit that is making you want to die. Moses, you can't die alone. <laughs> Moses, you won't die alone. Piano, you won't die alone. You die with, with Mr. Obi. I should die alone. I, I should die alone. You won't die alone. If you die, let me kill more people. In fact, if this is not killing. It is rather this, so that you will not die, so that nobody will die. One man will die. I'll take the spirit that's upon you and I'll put same, say same, 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 same. We'll talk about the same later. Upon them, and they shall bear the bed. <laughs> no, it's something that 70 people could carry. One old man was carrying it. No wonder he wanted to die. And they'll bear with the pew that you may that you may not bear it by yourself. Hallelujah. The Bible said that Moses was obedient. He was a priest. I mean, he was a judge of God. He was, he was, he was the one who was judging God's people. But he was obedient enough. And then from the verse 23 to the verse 20, 26. Let's quickly read it. This benefited Moses and the people tremendously, and God was glorified. Moses heeded. Exodus 23, 18, 23 to 26. If you do this, and so, and so, you see, God is commanding him, but God was using his father-in-law. Then you'll be able to endure and all these people will also go to their places in peace. Places, different places, talking about. So Moses heeded the voice of his father-in-law and did all that he had said. And Moses chose able men out of all Israel and made them heads over the people, rulers over thousands, mm, thousands, hundreds, fifties, and turns. This is where the home fellowship comes in. This is where the church, when they started, so this thing has become a culture in Jerusalem. It has become a, something that they know the leadership is not about one man. Church and God is not about one man. The one who died, the church is dead. No. So when the church started, they had their notes for Moses. And so they started meeting. Gathered 10 people in Priestless house, in Aquila's house, so that they can. The Bible said that there are issues that must not come. Sometimes the, thing, the issues that come to me, 
And I said, are they? So they will judge the people all the time. The people of God, they need judgment all the time. So we can judge ourselves. There can be one leader there who is coordinating, who is judging things. The hard cases, you see, you shouldn't be anointed enough like Moses to judge hard cases before you can take of God's people. You don't have to become like pastor before you can take of God's people. They will judge. They will judge here. They will coordinate. They will rule so that pastor can even get to know the people better. The hard cases they will bring to Moses. But they will judge every small case. Who does want the small cases? Eh? You are, you, you are not doing ministry, so you don't know the small cases. Hallelujah. He said them, Chiche Nipanimu. Aholiab, Faha. Jehu, Faha. Eyi, Faha. Munshesha, Kakran Kakra. Mumti. He will meet with the people, and the people will go and meet with the rest of the congregation. And they'll be distributing because the same spirit, because they spend time with Moses, God too is not an inferior spirit. Listen, the spirit on the host and the coordinators is not an inferior spirit. It's a spirit that is on P and Y. And they are appointed not by P and Y, but by God. And if you believe, they can dispense the same spirit over there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's solution to all these problems that comes by we just meeting in one place and the burnout and our house situations that come and people come and we don't, we don't know them. We don't know where they stay. We don't know their work. They do nobody in church knows them. No, they, 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 get, they get involved, lost in their communities. They have too many unbelievers, friends. And there's no iron sharpening iron. We sharpen ourselves just once in a while. Has to stop. God's solution is a house church. You say house churches. So in Acts chapter 5 verse 42, this was implemented. So Moses did not stop meeting the people. He met them once in a while. So temple meetings, I have moved to Acts. So temple meetings and home meetings. The home meetings were handled by the people that Moses trained. Hallelujah. And daily, temple, and in every house. So the house meetings were where the small cases, discussing the word of God again. Issues. Let's pray together. Let's share the burden at this level. Let's share the burden at this level. Hallelujah. So the objectives of our home fellowship or the house churches we are about to commence next month is to extend pastoral care write it down five five core objectives is to extend pastoral care to all of us it is pastor's system and if it's not if it's the pastor system then it is god's system it's god's wisdom and god's agenda to extend closer to you care and love from him through the pastor's office and through the pastor's heart to you. Hallelujah. Number two, to encourage fellowship. So to extend pastoral care. And it is also number three, as for fellowship, we've spoken about it extensively. Number three, leadership development. It is for leadership development so that we can develop more leaders. For leadership development. God, every, every organized, the, the Islamic faith, they are training more sheikhs. They are training more imams. They are training people to bomb, uh, bomb, bomb, bomb yes, uh, you know, from uh, Al Qaeda, so they, are, they are training people. They are training more bankers. Ghana Law School, they are training more lawyers. To the people that are running down Bible schools, I have issues with Bible schools. But it is because of bad churches 
That's why you have Bible schools. If every church is functioning the way God wants it to function, there will be no need for Bible schools. Why your pastor cannot train you to be a pastor? Another pastor, many people that train people in Bible schools, many of them are not pastors. So. They are theologians and lecturers. How to pastor? People that have not pastored before, who are called professors, are training people to come and pastor. No wonder we have this kind of pastors. I saw for the years, so nice. Eh? And then that bishop see you only Josh and no more than them. Eh? You, it is a apprenticeship. It is because pastors are not doing their work well. That is why there are Bible schools. The church is God's Bible school. If the church can't train to be a pastor, how is the use of a Bible school? The Bible school is not a church. How can, I, how can something like a church train you to take off the church? Are we streaming? <laughs> oh, we can be live. This year we will speak the truth to everybody. Democrat and agree. This man, he went to Bible school and when he came to this Bible school, he said, Hey! You went to Bible school? You want to go to Bible school? I don't know Bible school. When the Bible school is different. Why did you go to Bible school? What was your pastor doing? Then when you felt the work, the one you felt the call of God, you have to go to Bible school. At least if he, has, if he, if he has been there, he didn't learn well or what, but they are good. If you want to go to Bible school, you can go to Bible school. But I have a Bible school. If you, if you send the word, if you send the call of God, come, Hallelujah. Me am P and Y, but I can teach you to become Reverend. Hallelujah. Leadership. Everybody is training leaders. Game pass training leaders. Everybody is training leaders. There must be a system for God's church, which is the hope of the nations. We must get a system where we give people opportunity to be trained practically, not theory. We gather people, visit people. You may not know that you are called. I, I, I didn't know that I was called. I went to church. I just had a desire to be an usher. And then Musamia Asha Sana Musa met him the way I can home. Now me call media. Me call media sana me call prayer. I was just serving God. I didn't know that this was in me. I didn't know I was your pastor. I thought I'll be, I'll just be. That's when we say, we say, when we say just join a ministry, you have no plan. I, I was so tempted. I'm not smart though. I'm not smart. In your mere juma na ma me and then my crassini bit is am I looking good? Am I looking good? Grace so. See Drebi whom read to say, eh? Messi Minkoya Asha Kaka, me for basket, and I'm a John from a John from a John from a Koya prayer, me bomb pies, and I'm a co media, when a Musa and I'm that could be almost a member did pray our church, me could did pray our church. Now then you could say, ah, 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 that thing is coming. I just thought as an Asha. And you don't know, you don't know, you see, some of you are so sure you don't have to be pastors. Who told you? No, is it God? Either you hate. No. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 3. If anyone did, there's nothing good. There's, you see, if anyone desires the office of a bishop, this is a faithful saying. If a man desire, even the desire, you don't want to be a pastor, what do you want to be? It's good. Everybody is important. Be what you want to be, but listen. Do you know something that is more honorable and good than better? It's not because I'm a pastor. I've always admired pastors. You desire a good thing. Just a desire. And we, the church has made pastoring look so bad that if I say how many of you want to be pastors, one, some people who want to be pastors will not raise their hand. Because the one makes you die, oh, person, a pastor, I say, I to say, and then some person before I'm robber, one person a politician. How many of you politician? People raise their hand freely. If I say, how many want to be pastors? Or be a man in Sasso. Including those who know they have to be pastors. Because your man, your man, your man, your man, your man, your man, But you have one, you, you, you admire. You look at your Nara is looking at me. You see, you don't even know whether you are a pastor. 
So listen, 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 listen. Everybody watch me. Everybody watch me. This is what I'm about to say. Listen, people are never look like a pastor. Until I Even now, I don't look like one. There are many people I deal with every day. They don't know I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. Listen, what if you are supposed to be a pastor? I don't think there will be anything painful that for you to, to die and stand before God one day and God tell you that you are supposed to win 82,000 souls for me. You are supposed to do my work. How sure are you you don't have to be a pastor? How are you so sure that you don't have to be a pastor, Safo? How, how, no, that conviction you have, listen, is it, is it yourself, your mind, experience, or what? No, listen, I'm asking you, you have to ask yourself. Listen, I'd rather be a, a by force pastor and get to heaven and say, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> than get there and regret and see the souls in hell that I was supposed to have won that I never said yes to. So you are rather safe submitting yourself for training. Both Johnny Ashes and now be a host of area fellowship. But say, if God has a path for you to this place from here or from the choir and you sit and sit and die and face him. Rather permit God. And then God will open another door. You keep entering until you get here if you have to. And you know nobody in this church. You have force you take Do you take money in this church? I'm the last person to force him, but because yeah, you die, you. Yeah, 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 friend, for your person, you now I'm from Moses, but so now maybe you're but you see one day you you have had the card, then your head will will tell you, pie, will bed down. Sorry, the bed will kill you in bed. They will say you have died a peaceful bed, a peaceful death. <laughs> but the pressure of the people, Reverend is to the number, has a book. I read it very early, I read it about 13 years ago. The pressure of the people. Pressure of the people. Why don't you want to be a pastor? I chase her. My own, the only reason she didn't want to marry or pay me. But the reason she only she doesn't want to marry a pastor. You don't want to marry a pastor. You, are, you don't want your daughter to marry a pastor. Why do you hate us like that? What have we done to you? When we give birth, we dedicate your children. We pray for you. We pray for you. But you don't, you, you hate pastors for no reason. What have we done to you? When, 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 we, use, when we use over 200,000 to organize an all night and a crusade and people bring us offering that look like one one city and we are checking the money. 31st offering say, yeah, I said, to Elvis, I to me. At first, no, you had the ten, almost eleven thousand eight hundred. Then the day at the first, no, the offering was one zero five zero, like lotto number. <laughs> me then I'm here with Hano. Oh, they are here with Hano. At over hundred million at the year. You are sure? One night we all blew it away. Yenji offering a thousand, now fifty hundred thousand. Light near higher than Kwane thousand. And quite a borrow stage now, deal. You go through a lot. Go through a lot. Then the church will join the media and, and bloggers who are jobless to add on to the bed. Like I said, me say, I'm, I'm, I'm the last man to find about to be a pastor. You don't want to be a pastor. I asked myself, why I don't want to be a pastor? Why do you want to marry a pastor? He says, you will marry me. Fine boy like me. I like a fine boy. <laughs> why? I, mean, I, I don't want to marry a pastor. How do you, how do you have it today? The story is different. <laughs> Mr. Boss, the story different. I'm sure she wants her daughter to marry a pastor. <laughs> Listen. Pastors, good pastors better than me. They are not coming. The pastors are raised from this house. They will be better than me. Let me pay me a B. Let me put a position on a bar. Come be pay. Enter assembly. Let me say, O Christ, don't need here. 
Whether you be a pastor or you not be a pastor, let's end with Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12 and 13. Our time is up. Are you enjoying church? Yes. Listen, I'm gonna say, you see, you have to give us now. You don't know. You may never know. You may never know. Paul, Moses, eh, before he came to like this, he was a stammerer. Walking over. You see, the reason why you think you don't qualify is because of the weakness. But I don't know that your qualification to be used by God is your disqualification. You mention people's name. No, you mention people's name. You mention people's name. We need more pastors. Betting companies are increasing. Every day, new betting company. Everything is increasing. Dollar is increasing. Everything is increasing. By the church, we are still here. So this gives us, hey, Charlie, object is Mary Yo. We are doing leadership, eh? spiritually, uh, the, uh, leadership development. Next one is spiritual growth. And the last one is church growth. When we develop more leaders, they will train more people. They will grow spiritually. And number five will be the church will grow. God's house must be filled. The glory of the king is indeed in the mother of the This is not a person who is in the world. I need time. Intimacy. So, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? November, I see Henry in the morning. Only Henry in the morning. Henry, are you serious? He's big, but he's not serious. Yeah, he's my son. I can tell that he's not serious. If he was serious, I don't want to be baptized. I gave it to him. My channel I don't want any now. Before he will know, I'll go and baptize her. To his shame or, or glory. My name is Obey Timmy. I am. Timmy, I'm a boy. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a baby dedication. I'm a blessed wedding. I'm a real man. I'm a 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 Oh, oh, Sankasia ni a bad young Kameti Mia and Kame Miami home. Oh, the Shelly Abba, Esther Abba, or more bank, a crank, cries, yeah, a chaba, a chow, or a chance, Safu, 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 the Nebusha, a farmer, a beba. Ye knew, see me, who answer? Hallelujah. Listen, one Cassano, God's plan for you that I want you to achieve this year. Through this home fellowship is this. For though by this time, and I'm telling you by how many of you have been Christian for more than two years? How many of you have how, okay? Is there anybody here? No, 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 no. I have learned something in pastor. How many of you have not been Christians for more than two years? Okay. God has a letter for you. We have a missed call in the Bible. Let's read it together. I'll say, for though by this time, why a quiz only two years there? Listen, guys, no tea. Fisherman, no Okroako school kakra. And my fisherman, ni years, no three three years. No, you know what happened? You ought to be teachers. You ought to be teachers. By this time, you ought to be teachers. Don't say no. God, If you can't be a teacher, he won't say you ought to be a teacher. This is this one. It's not Ephesians chapter 4. It's not pastor, apostle. The teacher in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 is not the teacher here. You just have to be able to explain the Bible to somebody. You just have to be able to explain. If, if I say, if I call upon you to give closing prayer right now, Oyamu shiwa unye so, in fact, I'll call somebody at random to come and give closing prayer. If you pray that I shouldn't call you, <laughs> listen, it's a reality check. If you are prayer that you shouldn't be the one, or you will rehearse a prayer to come and read from your mind to us like you are the spirit. You are not grown. Hallelujah. You are not grown. If you come and stay here in Istanbul and a poor Mumbai, why you don't have a prayer life? Why do you are, are you afraid to come and stand here to pray? 
for one minute. You're not grown. There's a time come that you have to be able to pray in public. It's natural. You have to be able to teach. This home fellowship will give me and you and God and his church an opportunity for you to become at least a teacher. Those who are going to have this home fellowship in their homes, they are going to be called hosts. Say hosts. They will be the hosts of the home fellowships. You're not going to be called I mean, your work will be facilitation and coordination and all of that, but all together you are the host. And all of us here are going to be hosts. So that together we can all fulfill the scripture. You know that somebody teaching first principles, the oracles of God. Milk, not doors. Hallelujah. My wife was attempting to win her son. She said something. I left them and I went and I went to cry. The boy was, the, she was trying to put something on the breast. The boy would clean it. Said so the boy is wild. Men, eh? Say men and breast. He would clean it. He would drink it. So we have to change the item a couple of times. One day, I noticed that she is feeling bad about what she's doing. And so I was there with them, and she said that I don't, you have to stop drinking this for now. Until you have a wife, you can drink your wife's own. The boy, only at two years old. Okay, and I left them and I went. So for 20, I don't bear why we 25 years cry. He has 24 and a half years to wait to drink breast. I said, hey, I said, you are stopping now for 20 years to resume. You remember? Milk and mamika per milk dodo. Adam, so Adam, you have to start drinking. You have to start eating solid food, so you you're, you can get more muscles to drink your wife's breast in the future. Hallelujah! Listen, this year you want to go. It's our year of discipleship, and I want to disciple you to go and disciple. And this home cells or home fellowship is going to give all of us an opportunity for us to grow. Ote oti hona moye Bible studies na o kan bi o kan bi na unyi iron sharpness iron. Then if there's any giftings in you, you see that it will start coming at the home level. Then people maybe you are deep but you don't know that you are deep. Then they will come and tell me that Charlie, yeah yeah we say assembly of glory I can't hear. Eh, the glory of deep say eh. There's a prophetess here and I don't know. You see her duku. Maybe she's a prophet, but you don't know. But so a co Bible study, sir. Now you cannot come be a I don't know what you mono. Your man is chasing now a program. Kakra kaya by three months time. Cause I don't. The host by the car and say, Pastor, just Gloria is deep. I say, Hey, now call Gloria. Me go a din kumwa. I say, Ah, me a boy Gloria. In case I don't be what I was say a titia. I don't I don't I don't believe there are no prophets here. Me, I'm a teacher, I'm a pastor, I'm not a prophet. I'm some of you think I'm a prophet, I'm not a prophet. How do you think I'm a prophet? How do you think I'm a prophet? Hey, me. All of you raise your hand. Some people are trying to call me prophet by voice. I don't think I'm a prophet. But if you're a pastor, you preach Jesus. You are a prophetic pastor. But as this, and I believe that they are prophets. I'm looking for prophet, Mr. Boatin, because you know sometimes some things you have to see. But how will we know the prophets? You are here. Is there a desire or a no way? <laughs> Hallelujah. So get ready. Post and going training. And then, uh, when you're going to start this, then it's going to be a great blessing on you so that the burden can be shared and we can grow, we can develop more leaders and we will all be blessed together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
so that nobody would desire to die. Hallelujah. Me mon dear. Samudi we di agro. Let me tell you before time. You see this woman want to marry her for a long time. Sam me mano. Let me tell you show mo. In this baby I must do you know. When I am like twenty miles from there, I won't get there. I one day you'll be there. You get an SMS from me. I say that. You know something? I don't. When you say I don't want to die, it means I'm telling you that. Find, find a church, find a pastor. Hallelujah. Joshua, may you know in your ministry, may you know, may God give you men to work with, so you don't desire death than pastoring people. So if you put pastoring and owo, I must say and never for owo. Since the mekaja we are saying, meko ka meko preachi pan de kume. Hallelujah. Also, for may you not find such people, that will bring you to a place where you desire death. Every great pastor you know in Ghana, any pastor you see on TV, any pastor who preaches on radio, any great ministry you know, is great because they have men that are taking care of people and certain essentials for them. Hallelujah. I want to beg you and beseech you in the name of God that you make a certain space in your area available for the church to use for this home fellowship. And please, don't discourage the host. We'll be starting very soon. We will come here on Wednesday for our last Bible studies on this subject. And last Wednesday was, was fantastic. You are the only person who didn't come if you didn't come. I'm telling you. If you are not here, there are chances you are the only person who didn't come. I'm telling you, the place was packed. People have changed you. People have left you behind. You don't have a lot of companions again. So on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we may have our last meeting here. It's going to be Bible study. It's still going to be on this subject. It's going to take another 10. There's going to be some practicals. Don't miss. And then, the following Wednesday, we are believing God that we are going to start. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, or be from say, Uwono, Uwono, or your host. If someone calls you, that Linda, I am your host. Airport residential, we are meeting here. Run and go. And make life easy for him. Don't, don't let the person desire death. Because you have become stubborn. Hallelujah. I beg you, don't make it difficult. After the air shot, for a mob on someone down down. And I'm trusting God that all of us will be host very soon. In the meantime, uh, we are, I think we have, have I'm how many hosts? About 30. Eh? We have about 30 hosts. But I'm praying that very soon all of us are going to be hosts. But the 30, maybe Odin Kahwam, you are some of you are going to receive calls and messages from me this week that your house is a place. How many of you don't want us to do something in your house? Like where you stay, your landlord is a Buddhist. Like you have a reason, like, like whatever well, your life is not, your life is not good. If you say you are doing Bible study, everybody say, "Hey, you." <laughs> or maybe your landlord owned a car. You you have a reason why we shouldn't come and do something in your house because I have, your name is there. Now, so that I put an asterisk on your name so that it doesn't become like you are a bad person or something. Then you come and see me. You raise your hand and you come and see me. You cannot host one in your house. And now baby that. Only baby till you don't live in an area. Oh no, there may be there one or two people like that. I, I don't want to assume that. Although I have written your names by faith to be host. I don't want to assume that. You are not going to preach, oh. You are going to you are going to host. Hallelujah. You are going to arrange the chairs so that they come. And then, uh -huh, yes, uh -huh, uh -huh, and then outline in here. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? In Jesus' name, you take off and you have clothes. Amen. You can't do it and you don't have a place that you can do it. Raise your hand. Isaac.
afar. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the Lord. Tell baby, I won't die alone. Sometimes, Mr. Bwati, and a shimmy, sir, be too good to us, and a my sabufra, too good to complain as it is what it is. I'm here, I'm here now. TLC can cry, oh, now the cooler near Cosa, and you, hallelujah. But it is well, amen. All right, take out a good offering. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, yes, sir. But it's for a good cause. Area fellowship there, and it is called home fellowship. Ima, give the get, what, get, please fetch my phone. Let them put it on the screen. It's going to be shared on the chat page. Ima, this is your uh, uh, food banker uh, and uh, the debut. Which are pictures? Welcome to the photography team. Today we uh, I'll watch the pictures very well. Pa. So we take out a good offering. Take out a good offering. We are closing. We are not streaming now, right? Good, good. So they do a few them. Let me let them put us. Amen. Take out a good offering. Yeah, let's pass the basket. I want the no, no. We have new. Uh, mommy, please. I want the new basket, the new bowl. <laughs> 